What's up, guys? Welcome back to Real Bucks Talk, where we go over everything Tampa Bay Buccaneers. If that sounds like something you're interested in, make sure to hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't just yet. Now let's get into the nitty-gritty. Let's talk some Bucks breakdowns. We're looking at William Golson today. 6'6", 281, defensive tackle, defensive end. He had three sacks, 24 tackles. But, I mean, let's look at the numbers a little bit more. Three sacks kind of ties his career high. But look at these QB hits. 20 QB hits, the nearest highest was eight. I mean, that's that's a huge jump in production. What did you see from William Golson Plus? Yeah, William, has, he's definitely improving every year, which is, uh, you know, unique because he's already a, a seasoned vet. I mean, he's been in the league since 2013. So to see him continuing to improve and get better with his pass rush and, and you know, obviously run defense has been a strength, but – as you see him here, just coming in off a, off a stunt game, coming from the outside to the inside, and really just being a force, using that power, using those hands, and really pushing 74 back and getting the quarterback. So, yeah, I really like William Golson. I think he's become a very important part of this defense going forward. Yeah, big thing, I, I kind of said it in the Sue video, he pretty much patterns his game or models his game from Sue, but he also has a little bit of this quick to quick twitch to him. I mean, check out this quick move. He wins right here inside on the, the guard right here. I mean, immediately, boom, wins inside, gets up field, gets down. I mean, there was no chance for Teddy Bridgewater to make a play. He, it, he's right in his face. There's nowhere else to go. So, I mean, he's got a little bit of everything. He's Like you just said, he's a veteran. But he's getting better almost every year. It's it's crazy to think. And probably behind David as the longest tenured Buccaneer. So, what do you see for this one? Yeah, like you said, he's got some quick t- twitch ability. Uh and especially when he keeps his pad level low, um, using his legs, and he's got the length, obviously, so he can make up a lot of ground quickly. Uh, so that's what makes him very uh, just special in that in that guard uh, here. Just again showing that power, and he's really become more tena- you know, tenacious and just more physical. Um, and you can see he's really having a fun time out there when he's playing playing the game. So really like seeing that. And yeah, poor running back, he got no <laughs> chance on that one. What were they thinking with that? I mean, it just, that's not smart football. But, I mean, check out the motor. It's almost like just something flicked on with him. He's like, no, once the, the ball snapped, I'm going to turn into a different human being. I'm going to turn into an animal. And he just goes. He's like one of these guys where, like, JPP has endless energy when he's out there. I mean, William Golson turns into something else when, when, they say, when they say hike. And I love this. Look at all the counters he has on this. Again, playing inside. First tries to win with leverage, long arm in the guy. Then he brings out a little spin move. Watch this little thing. Oops, he's going the other way. Spin it back in outside. I like it. And then gets one of those 20 QB hits. William Golson adding to the repertoire. What do you see? Yeah, like you said, I mean, he's just continuing to improve. The pass rush has come a very long way. Uh, just being more physical with his hand usage, uh, hit the motor, the legs are always driving. And, and like you said earlier in the video, he's definitely taken after Adama and Sue, um, really, you know, kind of being his um, apprentice or protege. Uh, so William's really taken a long step. I mean, here's really nice. I mean, just showing the spin move and then continue to fight forward, go up, you know, right behind Sue and, and get a nice quarterback hit on uh, Drew Locke. And these are things you don't see in game because, I mean, it wasn't a sack. Didn't go down as a big play, but check out the end of the play. Look at Antoine Winfield over here. Getting one foot down and catching this ball. College, that's an interception, but geez, what a play. Insane. Well, let's go back to the spin move. This is something you don't really notice during the game. You're like, oh, Wilson, William Golson only had three sacks during the season. What the hell did he do? I mean, he's still trying things out like this. Like that's that's kind of an elite move for an inside edge rusher. And the fact that he gets to the quarterback, forces a throw like this, almost gets an interception because of it. Give me more. I love it. I mean, these are when you break down the tape, you see how much he contributes. When you don't look at it, you just see three sacks. Like, oh, it's a subpar player. But now, getting those big arms, those big mittens up in the air, knocking balls down as well. What do you like? Yeah, like like you said, again, it's just being aware uh, and continuing to improve. Like, if he's not going to get to the quarterback, he knows he's long and lanky, so he can get his hands up there, make an impact on the play, knock the ball down. So, we've seen this time and time from William Golson. I mean, he's had a couple field goal blocks, but... You know, just seeing it here more consistently, you know, consistently as a, as a pass rusher to make a you know effect on the play. You gotta love his celebrations as well. I mean, check this one out. I mean, what a play! And then he just crawls over the guy, just <laughs> lets him know he made the play. 
But he kind of goes unblocked, just kind of sidesteps the guard here. I don't know what the hell the guard was thinking. Just William Golson was thinking better. And unblocked means you're going down and you're going to get hurt. But I love the celebration. What do you see? Yeah, now we get into his run defense, which is, I think, his strength. And he's a big reason why we're number one against the run. So it's just fun to watch him as you're going to see him here just – you know, hold guys up, get through, you know, show that power, keep his eyes on the running back, able to make the tackle. Uh, so it's really textbook uh, when you see him and in, in run defense. He knows how to hold his gap. He's just too strong to move, too big, and he can make plays like this. Yeah, he can anchor well, right? I mean, you got two guys trying to push him out of the way, push him off a spot, because they know that's where the running has to go. I mean, that's the running lane. He occupies it right there and allows guys to come and help him out with the play, and guess what? He ends up making the play. And that's that's awesome, playing within the system of the defense, and he's been really doing well every every year, and he's only growing as a player. I really like this, as too. I mean, we didn't put this in the Sioux play or the Sioux film study, but check him out. The line's here. He just pushed his guy back about two or three yards. There's nowhere to run. Where's this guy supposed to go? I mean, this run defense is for real. Golson just makes the play here, but Sue's like, setting it up because there's nowhere to go. But break it down a little bit more. Yeah, it's a good job here by William. Uh, he does a good job of getting inside leverage. He's coming down the line. But also notice his hand work as he's going to keep his right hand on the guy he's trying to hold off. So he does a great job of getting that high and, and really sealing off uh, the offensive alignment so he can't readjust. So really it's a clear shot down the line. But really, like you said, and Sue makes this play because, first of all, he's pushing his guy back, but he's also sealing the edge and forcing the guy back into William Golston. So that's what we call team run defense, and it's executed at its finest right there. One other point, Golston's going up against pretty much one of the best left tackles in the game, Teron Armstead over there. So, I mean, I'd say that's pretty legit. Pretty good pretty good rep by William Golston there. As usual, running into anyone and everyone. <laughs> and now, again, more aggressiveness in the running game. He can push you back. He has that power game. He has that length. I mean, it's kind of hard. I mean, we have depth for days on that defensive line. What do you see here? Yeah, he pretty much just manhandles the guard here. I think that's Will Hernandez, if I'm not mistaken, and just really just takes him for a ride and, and makes this play on the running back. Again, nowhere to go. Uh, so it's just nice to have, you know, guys like Will Golston that can really be impact run defenders, but also provide that pass rush that you want to, you know, affect the pocket. And then here, just showing his hustle and his motor, able to get down the line. He's not going to stop and makes a nice tackle on Christian McCaffrey here. Yeah, most people think big guys, once they get run past, they just give up on the play. They're on the ground. No. William Golson, like I said, he that light flicks on. He turns into a different person, and he runs his play from behind, and that's called team football. But, guys, I hope you like the film breakdown of William Golson. If you liked it, give us that like button down below. Subscribe if you like the content. Make sure to hit, hit that comment section. Give us your opinion. What do you think of uh, William Golson? What do you think of him moving forward? And until the next one.